Town Council meets tonight. We find out what's on the agenda with Town Council President Jessica Rapgrissetti on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Thursday, May 19th, 2016. I'm Sarah Mannell. So a uh, busy meeting tonight. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what we can expect and what's on the agenda for this evening. Well, um, the end of May uh, usually represents the introduction of our um, operating budget. Uh, and, and the town manager and uh, the finance director will give the council the FY 2017 budget overview presentation. Um, so as um, the budget items are listed on the agenda as a first read and then will be uh, uh, open for public discussion and voting at our June 2nd meeting. Wonderful. And I know that during town manager communications, uh, we'll hear a presentation from the town manager and the finance director. Yes, yes. They'll, uh, um, they'll do an overview of the budget and uh, highlight um, uh, some of the items and uh, just give an uh, overview. I do want to say that um, the, uh, the budget book is online and available for um, the general public to, um, to look at page for page. I think there's, uh, you know, I don't know, over maybe 300 pages to the... <laughs> To the budget book? Yes, it's a big, it's a big book. <laughs> I th actually, I think it's closer to 500, but uh, it's uh, quite quite uh, thick, but um, very comprehensive. So. Absolutely. Um, and uh, I'll get into a little bit more uh, some of the highlights of the budget. Uh, but af after the town manager communications, which in, uh, are uh, the budget overview this, this uh, week, um, we'll hear from the newly appointed uh, Barnstable County Administrator, John Units. I think John prefers to be called Jack, but yes. uh, um, uh, I invited uh, him to um, to introduce himself to the council and um, give the uh, uh, the town uh, an idea of what's going on at the county level. Which Absolutely. I think is important. I, I do too. And I think that, you know, we, we actually had uh, Mr. Units on Barnstable this morning earlier this week. It was a pleasure to meet him and looking forward to, uh, he's got some uh, good ideas, I think, uh, for the county. So I think it'll be great. Uh, and looking forward to uh, having hi hi you guys getting a chance to, to meet him as well. That's right. And hopefully we won't put him on the spot too much. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. Um, so getting into so, the so getting into the we we actually only have two items carried forward um, for public hearing, and they both are um, uh, proposed zoning amendments. Um, and um, the first item is the amendment uh, to extend the HB Bit Highway Business District to include a parcel uh, at Ten Attics Lane. And right now, uh, there's, uh, is, there's a commercial business there, and it's there by uh, through uh, a use variance. So um, right now, use variances are, are now prohibited within 300 feet of Route 132, and that really limits the uh, uh, type of uh, um, business that can, that can uh, function there. So this is uh, about three acres of land that abuts the highest golf course in that area. Great. So um, that's up for a, a public hearing and um, in action. And the next item, uh, and, and that item actually was referred to the planning board as is usual usual um, for amendments to the zoning. Um, this next item, we're going to hold the joint public hearing with the planning board, um, and this this kind of streamlines the process. Um, and this is also amending a Chapter 240 of of the Article Three in the. Um, uh, zoning of the UB di uh, business district, and uh, and this is coming um, from uh, or being sponsored by Vice President Steinhilber and uh, 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 Councillor Phil Wallace, and this this is uh, is uh, responding in the needs of uh, the town's residents to have access to legally age restricted housing that's des uh, designed to provide appropriate amenities and services. Um, and it, what it does is it reduces the bulk and dimensional um, limitations that would other, otherwise be uh, 
uh, applicable in the industrial district. And this is in Independence Park. This is a pro, uh, um, in response to a proposed assisted living facility um, and designed for persons 55 years and older. So, you know, the uh, all the areas in the industrial park are um, connected to the municipal wastewater plant, which allows for increased density and uh, which doesn't Im- impact the groundwater resources, but um, this will encourage a more compact design within that uh, industrial park, and uh, allowing for a little bit more open space um, while while um, providing some some much needed uh, uh, housing units. Fantastic! So, and so again, so uh, that's a joint public hearing. Absolutely, and, uh, 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 and can be acted upon. Great. And then then the uh, other than. Um, Appointments and reappointments, which um, um, you know, we we uh, it's coming to the end of the fiscal year, and uh, most of the terms run to um, June thirtieth, um, and so this is a busy time for the appointments committee. So they'll be bringing forth uh, quite a bit of uh, appointments and reappointments to boards, committee, and commissions. Absolutely, and that will be for first read. But also, um, then we'll uh, we'll be reading into um, the record the um, the town's FY17 um, uh, general fund budget, general fund and eight enterprise funds, um, and they they total about 181 million dollars. Our total budget, proposed budget, uh, is uh, over 211 million dollars. We uh, approved um, recently the capital improvement plan, and that was approximately $30 million worth of capital projects. Right. Uh, some of the highlights to this are uh, um, $162,000 for an adult supportive day program at the senior center, and this was a this was uh, as a result of uh, the council concern that uh, this program was going to be cut because a lot of uh, people rely on that program at the senior center. So this will um, it, it's it runs at a deficit about a $72,000 deficit, but. Um, this will allow for um, uh, a little over three full-time employees uh, for that program, and I, I think I think it, it's much needed um, for our senior citizens and for relief on those that care for senior citizens as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. So, um, also, it, it, the uh, budget includes an uh, hourly wage increase, um, and that's a mandated uh, wage increase for our seasonal workers. Um, effective January of 2016 and as well as 2017. Um, this is, uh, you know, we, we want to attract uh, the best employees for our seasonal workers, and this will uh, uh, keep us in compliance with those mandates. Indeed. Um, also, um, new this year uh, being proposed is uh, community police service officers. Um, these, this is a, about a fifty-one thousand dollar appropriation, and these would uh, assist the police in patrolling the main street of Hyannis um, and the community impact unit, reporting the issues to the police, um, and they will check the comfort stations and interact with the visitors and residents and. Uh, um, I think, uh, you know, it used to be we had the summer cops, the light blues uh, who walked the beat, um, but uh, that that can be very costly, and uh, um, this is this is to address, um, you know, or to have our police officers concentrate on uh, patrolling the entire town rather than uh, walking the beat on Main Street. So Exactly. And so nice to have those officers um, on Main Street. You know, I grew up working on Main Street in Chatham, and we always had our summer cops, and they were great. And I think it's just nice even just to have that visibility of police on Main Street to be helpful and, um, you know, deal with any issues that might arrive. It's always good to have that presence on a Main Absolutely, Street. Absolutely, yes. Um, and other. town council meets tonight at 7 in the town hall hearing room. You can also watch that live right here on Channel 18. We'll be sure to tune in to our hour-long news program, Barnstable, this morning. That program airs weekdays at 8 a.m. On tomorrow's show, we will have Adoptable Pet Friday, and we'll talk with Joe Izzo, the general manager of the Hyannis Youth and Community Center. For Barnstable Today, I'm Sarah Mannell.